Hey guys, Garrett here. So I wanna go over a really important video that I think will help people really thread the needle when that time comes. If you're hunting thick stuff like you see behind me here, that's very common for blacktails or elk here in Oregon on the west side. And so I think that's a lot, that's, that, that causes a lot of maybe people not taking shots that they could make, but they don't know that they can, or a lot of guys missing shots that they take because they thought they could thread the, thread the needle, but they really couldn't. Uh, and all this is just preparation in the off season for when that time comes to make that shot count when you do get maybe that rare occurrence of an animal in range and stuff like this. It can be very challenging to do that. Um, a lot of times it's luck, just being in the right spot or maybe you have a tree stand. But this is going to help you thread the needle at whatever range that brush is when your buck is at whatever range the buck is at or whatever animal you're shooting. So very important here. So if I have, I have some viney maple, an oak tree with leaves, a bunch of other, a fir tree, a bunch of stuff out there. I've never shot through this bush before, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to range that bush. Step one. It's right at eight yards. Uh, 7.9 to 8 yards because the bush the bush is pretty thick. Um, I'm going to try and set my Reinhardt up somewhere out there where I can shoot it from right here. Mark it. And then I'm going to shoot my Reinhardt through that bush. And I'll show you the bush here in a second. But why did I range that bush? That's because through my experience, I know that I need to shoot for the speed that I'm shooting. Uh, I need to shoot for about 25 yards to get through to hit exactly at 8 yards. So if I know where I'm gonna hit exactly eight yards now, I know I can thread the needle because I know where my arrow's going to be at in the air when it comes to that bush. That's really important. So how do you use that when you're aiming at an animal? Well, um, I don't know where I'm gonna set up at, but say um, I know where I need to be with my top pin, I can use my second pin to actually shoot the animal. So uh, you have a little bit of room to move on the vitals for an animal. You have, that makes a lot of room here at close range that you can thread that needle, you can move around change elevations and stuff like that. So uh, let me set up this Reinhardt. I'll go through it a little bit more in detail. Um, I'll actually take you with me and then I will switch cameras. Um, switch cameras so you can see hopefully the arrow uh, go through the brush. I'm not gonna say that you're gonna see it go into the Reinhardt because um, there's so much vegetation, but um, I do have a second camera here and I'm going to use it here in a second. So let's set this bad boy up. All right. Hopefully there's no rattlesnakes. Okay, it's right about 40 yards. Um, I arranged the tree right behind it, so I'm gonna shoot it for 40. Knowing that the brush is eight yards from me. That'll be perfect. Man, there's a lot of brush there, but I think I can do it. Yep, I can do it. So I had a little little leaf with a uh, little stem leading to a big stem that I was aiming just over and I hit exactly where I was aiming. Let's do it again. I'll even do it from a different spot. I'll do it right from behind the camera. That was just under, let me show you guys what I was aiming at. So I'm directly behind the camera, off to the left a little bit. I had to aim just under this and then thread it through that. So that was a cool shot. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna keep it on this view. And guys, I'm not shooting, I'm not, making it easy on myself. I'm trying to find windows anywhere in that bush I can shoot to prove my point. That's two shots on the target. I'm gonna do one more just to see if you can't see the arrow go th through the same spot. I'm having to crouch about halfway down to find this arrow that I'm shooting through. Hit it again. So let's go up there and check it out. 
Okay, so I just threw my, my short lens on and I have no idea where I hit. I could barely make the outline of the, uh, of the large circle I was, I was aiming at. Um, but I bet they're all within a three, four inch group, which is not a great group for 40 yards, but that's plenty good enough to harvest whatever you just shot at. I'm gonna have to jump across here. Uh oh. Go. There's rattlesnakes in here, so I'm super sketched about doing this. Yeah. Oh. Hope you're still recording then. Okay. Looks like I was uh, a little off on my range. But, uh, oh yeah, shoot, I was like four yards over. I ranged that little tree. But, let's see what we got. So yeah, I, uh, I had a hard time. I could see, like right here, I could see the outline. But guys, that's a that's a easy four inch group. And uh, I'm gonna get behind here. Uh, there's a tree behind me, about three yards, and I thought that was maybe a yard farther. <laughs> so my depth perception sucks. But dead deer, dead deer, dead deer. Period. All through the brush, and I will show you what I shot through. That there is the tree I ranged, and you can see how far behind it it is. Oop. Boom, okay. So let's look back here, and uh, I shot right through there, the thickest part, so. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap this video up, but um, is it my best group? Heck no, I'm shooting through a bunch of stuff. I didn't know the yardage exactly. That's why these two arrows are high, and this one um, is low just because it shot low, and maybe that branch did affect it a little bit. But guys, that is a dead deer. You turned in an opportunity that a lot of guys would have missed or passed up because they don't do this in the off season. So uh, apparently I need to work on my depth perception a little bit, but uh, uh, I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. Um, I can't believe I have never thought about sharing this one with you guys before, but um, you know it's going to make for a great tip. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. Hope you got great tags, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.